Good morning, everybody. Happy Friday. It is day 56 of going live on Instagram every single day for for 56 days already, and I'm going for 365. So, wow, I only got about 300, uh, 365, yeah, about 300 more, <laughs> just, just shy. So, today I want to talk to you guys uh, about something that I did this morning, and I got, and first I have a confession. My confession is I have been slacking. I have been slacking, and it's been eating me alive, guys. It's been eating me alive. So yesterday, I created that uh, my whole plan, my whole schedule, of ev- so I know what I'm doing every single minute of every single day. And it starts off with waking up at 6 in the morning every single day so I can go to the gym and get my workout done because I love getting my workouts done as soon as I wake up, so it's already done out of the way with my day. And I can focus on the rest of my day. So what, what do I mean when I say I've been slacking? I have been slacking because I've been waking up around 7, 7.30, 8 sometimes. And just not wanting to get up at 6 in the morning. So I set that goal yesterday. And I said, you know what? No matter what, I'm getting up at 6 a.m. I'm going to get my butt to the gym. I'm going to go work out. And then I'm going to... And then I'm going to get started with my day. So I, uh, so I went, so I tried going to bed really early, guys, really early at like 8:40, like we all do whenever we want to wake up early. And so I went to bed early at 8:40. I slept and I tossed and turned to about 10, 10, 10:30. I was like, oh my god, I cannot sleep. So I did what most of us do. I got up. I uh, I, I just uh, got even a sandwich because I a little PB and J because I love PB and J, and I got myself a PB and J sandwich and I opened up my book and started reading and I was like you know what I'm just going to read uh, until I get tired and I read a whole chapter uh, which was about uh, <laughs> which was about like 10 15 pages front and back which that's huge for me that's really big for me and that takes me a while so it was around so I got done with those chapters around. Uh, around like midnight and or actually no around uh, like 11 30 actually 11 30 so I was like you know what I'm still not tired I'm just gonna throw something on the tv maybe until I fall asleep and I threw on uh, something on the tv and then it became 12 30 12 30 close to one I was like oh my god I gotta wake up at six in the morning man this sucks like I gotta get to bed so eventually I just throw. I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna go to bed. Went to bed, and here, uh, and then five hours later, it comes six in the morning. My alarm goes off, and I. This is the thing that I did that was so wrong. Was I just snoozed my alarm and rolled over, and then I had this overwhelming feeling of guilt just freaking hit me so hard i was like oh my god if i can't wake up now and go to the gym i'm lying to myself i'm lying to myself about all the stuff that i've that i've done or all i'm lying to myself about all the stuff that i said and lying to myself on all the goals that i said i was determined to get and i just couldn't sleep right there i was like oh my god I'm lying to myself, and and that got me a little bit closer out of bed. But this is the part that really got me to throw those covers off and just jump right out of bed. This is what happened. I thought about all my goals and what would happen in my life if I got those goals. I was like, man, and I pictured it. I was like, this is how I'd wake up. This is what I would do. This is the uh, things that I'd get to see. This is the activities I'd get to do. Like all those things, oh, that would be, that would happen if I got my goal. And then I said, if you don't get up right now, you're stripping yourself from those goals. You'll never be able to get those goals and achieve those things and be able to experience those things after you have your goal. And I thought about that and I was like, oh my God, 
if I'm not allowed, if I won't be able to have that feeling that I just had, or if I won't be able to do the things that I want to experience, if I don't get up right now, right this second, that's what changed it. That's what flipped the switch for me. I was like, whoo, threw those freaking sheets right off myself, got up, got dressed, got to the gym, got it done, and now I'm just getting back from the gym. And I, man, I had a great workout. I'm alive right now. I feel so much better. I feel like just, I just feel like take, take on the day, even though it's a Friday, I just feel like working my butt off today because I want those goals. I want to feel those feelings. I want to make that transformation in my life. So what I'm, what I'm wanting to say is, and what I wanted to tell you guys, the reason why I want to tell you guys this is because if there's, there's times that we don't want to get up in the morning or there's times that we don't want to do stuff that will uh, push us towards our goals or get what we want in life. So the way to overcome that, uh, res- that resistance of just getting out of bed in the morning is think about the stuff that w- you would have and you would experience and the feelings you would feel if you had that goal. And then try taking that, that goal and that, those feelings away from you if you don't, if you don't do the current uh, obstacle. It's huge, guys. So thank you guys for all listening. Uh, let me know if you like this. And, I, and I'm just going to keep doing this every single day for 365 days. And everybody that watches these and follows along gives me feedback. I love you. It helps me so fucking much. It helps me so fucking much. So... Uh, everybody get out, get up, get out there, kick Friday's day, kick Friday's, uh, day in the dick. I don't even know (laughs) what I'm saying, but you know what I'm saying. Go be productive. Go be your best you. I'll see you guys tomorrow.